Hello great minds, welcome to another lesson on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at exercise number 6. Right? And we have three examples on this exercise. In example 1, we are going to be making use of the concept of multiplication and division multiplication and division all right now let's see what we have first now when you look at this picture we have four numbers all right these four numbers are connected so we can make use of one to find the other all right take for example 30,000 which is at the top, we can make use of the 15,000 to get the 30,000. What do we need to do? It's quite simple. We multiply by 2. Alternatively, we can use 650. Alright, now let's go to the board. First, 15,000 multiplied by 2 all right so we are going to get 15 times 2 that is we are trying to ignore the three zeros all right so we multiply the real numbers so 15 times 2 we give us 30 then what we need to do is to pack the remaining three zeros and put it in front of it and that gives us 30,000. So this is a very good way of avoiding zero problems. Alternatively, we can use the 600 and the 50 to also get 30,000. That is 600 times 50. All right, again, we ignore the zero temporarily and multiply the six and the five. What are we going to get? We are going to get 30. Again, we count the zeros and then put it in front of the 30. And what are we going to get? We are going to get 30,000. So we can get 30,000 in two different ways from 650 and from 15,000. Now, if we wish to get the 15,000, we can do the opposite of multiplication. This time we are going to divide the 30,000 by 2 because we multiply 15,000 by 2 to get 30,000. So we have 30,000 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. And 30 divided by 2 will give us 15. Now the zeros again are temporarily ignored and we write down 15 and bring down the three zeros and that is going to give us 15,000 all right so this is how we get the 15,000 again if we wish to get um, the 600 or the 50 we are going to do the same thing all right so let's just say we want to get the 50 first now to get the 50, we need to use the 30,000 and the 600. All right. Now, let's go to the board. Now, 30,000 divided by 600. So we allow two zeros at the bottom to delete two zeros at the top. Then 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 30 divided by 6 is 5. So we are going to get 5 and a 0, that is 50. So this is how we get the 50. Alright? Alright, now we can as well decide to get the 600. And we need to use 50 and the 30,000. Now back to the board. We have 
30,000 all right divided by 50 so we allow one zero at the bottom to delete one zero at the top then five divided by five we give us one 30 divided by five we give us six so the top we have six and two zeros all right so that is six zero zero that's 600 so this is how we get the 600 all right now we have done everything on example one now let's go to example two where we are going to be making use of the concept of addition subtraction multiplication and then division all right we will also make use of division now let's look at the shape we have it looks like a seven all right so we have numbers around the seven and let's focus on this s3 now this s3 means sum times three so when you add up everything you multiply by three to get 33 so if we wish to get this 33 or number in that position we must make use of every other numbers all right now let's go to the board now the first thing is to add because sum means addition so we add up all the numbers around the shape 4 plus 1 plus 2 all right plus 4 that is going to give us 11 all right so 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 11 these are the numbers around the shape then by the s3 it means we have to multiply by 3 multiply the sum by 3 so 11 times 3 gives us 33 so this is how we get the 33 all right now if we wish to get the three beside the s we must make use of other numbers around the shape including the 33 all right again let's go to the board to do this we must do the sum of the numbers all right so we have four plus one plus two plus four all right again that is going to give us 11 now the number at the other side is 33 so what we are going to do is to do opposite of multiplication which is what division so we are going to divide 33 by 11 and that will give us 3 all right this is how we get the 3 beside the s all right now the way we get any other number around the shape is the same thing so we are just going to do only one of them all right to save our time so let's say we want to take the 2 all right so let's find the 2 now in order to find the 2 we must make use of other numbers that are around the shape and uh, it is 33 so the first thing is is to divide 33 by the 3 beside the s all right so that is 33 divided by 3 it gives us 11 all right this is the sum of all the numbers so we try to add up the remaining numbers and see what it gives us first we add up the 4 to the 1 and to the other 4 so we are going to get a 9 from that all right so that is 9 now if we subtract the 9 from the 11 what are we going to get a 2 so that is how we get the 2 so to get every other numbers we do the same thing 
all right let's look at example three where we are making use of three or four concepts we have addition subtraction multiplication and division all right okay now from the picture of example three we have a two and an eight that are connected by multiplication we also have on the vertical side a 12 and a 4 but these ones are connected by addition that's a plus all right so what is unique about this connection let's find out on the board now 2 times 8 gives us 16 12 plus 4 all right gives us 16 you see what we're talking about so both gives us the same number all right now if we wish to get the 12 we will make use of the 8 2 and the 4 now let's go to the board the first thing we try to do we start with the complete side which is the 2 and the 8 2 times 8 is 16 we've done that before then this 16 we subtract 4 from it so we do the opposite of addition so that gives us 12 all right so this is how we get the 12 if we wish to get the 4 again we are going to make use of the three other numbers we start with the 2 and the 8 so we have 2 times 8 that will give us 16 then after that we subtract the 12 from the 16 and the result is 4 so this is how we get the 4 now let's look at the other side if we wish to get the 8 we'll make use of the three other numbers all right so what is the first thing to do we start with the vertical side there is 12 plus 4 well that is going to give us 16 then we do the opposite of multiplication that is what division so we divide 16 by 2 so the result is 8 so this is how we get the 8 all right finally how do we get the 2 we make use of the three other numbers also but start with the complete sign that is 12 plus 4 that will give us 16 now 16 is again divided this time by 8 so 16 divided by 8 is going to give us 2 so this is why the result is 2 so this is all we are going to take on this video I want you to do your quiz and your assignment hope you had a great time learning today i'll see you in the next class bye